This is the Wednesday evening KRQE.com webcast. Weather is the big story. Here's Mark. Dick, let's just break down the snow projections here across the viewing area for the storm as it comes in throughout the night tonight. An inch or two in Durango, Farmington to grab an inch in the resorts of southwestern Colorado, three to six, three to eight inches of snow there. Chama, three to six inches of snow, and Los Alamos, two to six. Northern Mountain's going to continue to get pounded. They've been pounded all day. That will roll on tonight, eight to 12 inches at the Taos Ski Valley. Northeast, not huge snow amounts, but an inch or two will remain possible throughout the night tonight and into tomorrow morning. And here in the metro, our snow amounts won't be huge either. Either, but we could grab an inch or so and three to six in the Sandias and the Manzanos across the southern tier of the state. Got to be in the higher elevations to get a shot here. Silver City three to six and Ruidoso tonight three to six will be possible as well. A state district judge this afternoon ruled against the city of Albuquerque in a high profile police shooting case in 2010. APD officer Brett Lampiris Tremba killed Kenneth Ellis outside a Northeast Heights convenience store. Ellis, an Iraq war veteran suffering from PTSD, was pointing a gun at his own head and negotiating with a crisis intervention officer when Lampiris Tremba suddenly shot him. The city independent review officer ruled he should not have fired, but the Citizen Review Commission ruled the shooting was justified. However, at a hearing today on a lawsuit filed by Ellis's family, Judge Shannon Bacon ruled Ellis posed no threat to anyone and that the shooting violated his constitutional rights. This is just a huge hurdle in, 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 the, in, the, long, in the big picture. We, we've got a long ways to go yet. Uh, the man that shot and killed my son needs to be held accountable for his actions. A statement from the city criticized the judge's ruling and insists that Ellis did pose an immediate threat. Basically, what today's ruling could mean is that when the lawsuit goes to trial, the jury will be told the judge has already ruled the shooting was unjustified and that could set the stage for massive damages. A House committee this morning approved a fireworks ban bill. The proposal by Democratic Representative Emily Kane, who is an Albuquerque firefighter, gives local communities facing severe fire conditions the power to block fireworks sales and use following a public hearing. The fire departments support the bill, but fireworks vendors claim it could put them out of business. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.